I am actually loving the fact that this baby is called Angel. Okay, I think our first protocol call is to start a club meeting with the 100 baby squad. So if you went around for the next episode, how do I start gathering? If you went around for the last episode, basically we made this whole, I can kind of kick Nox out, can't I? I will do that in a second. But basically we made a group, the 100 baby squad, where we just invite a bunch of men over and get them to cook and clean for us. And we set all the things as like romantic and cooking and cleaning so we can get everything done and it's great and it's apparently not against the rules. So great. <laughs> I think I've read the rules finally enough and I understand what the rules are and it's not against the rules. But if someone wants to tell me otherwise, do it. Please in the comments, let me know. But I'm also pre-filming so I won't. If it is against the rules and I like look at what you said and I look at against the rules and I'm like, you know what, they're right. It will be off, but I'm doing some pre-filming so it won't be off for a few episodes at least. Oh, and my cat's here. Guys, my cat. Anyway. <laughs> okay, now we gotta choose our next, our next victim for the 100 babies. I think like Eric, maybe? Let's go <laughs> and get them to cook and clean for us. I'm kind of like, maybe we shouldn't have the high chair, but then I'm like, it was kind of cute when she put Eric in the high chair last episode, but now I'm not Eric, when she put Grover. Um, so these are our two children. These are our two toddlers right now, Eric. Why do we keep thinking, we're gonna have to call a child Eric now. We have Grover and we have Franklin, and then we also, are we gonna have an alien child? I've never had an alien child. I've never even played with an alien in the sim. Okay, this is, y'all. What is going on? But we also, so we have Grover and we have, oh my God, I'm going to have to replace the fridge again. She is, okay, she's actually not that, she is like, she's not poor, but we only have $15,000 and we're trying to save up for a house and she has to keep replacing all the appliances because everyone breaks them. But, um, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so we have Angel, who was the, the child we got last episode, who's absolutely cute. She is Knox's child, I think. And then we have Franklin, who is... Franklin is um, Marcus Flex's child, and then Grover is Ian Robel's child. And um, Hazel is the child that got taken away in our first episode. Um, yep. And yeah, Grover, Ian Robel's angels is Nox's. Yeah. Wait, Nox has another child? No, okay. I was like, whoa. Oh, that's so good. Okay. She died already? Was she always? I swear she's like a character in the game. Um, anyway. Oh, okay. They're so cute. But right now she has to take a pregnancy test because we need to know if we're about to have an alien child. That's so... What do you have to do for alien? Do you have to do anything special? I'm not even sure. I have to put that away after. Yeah, okay. She's not pregnant. But like now it's like I know, but like I can't not have it. Maybe we'll try with Dominic this time. But, like we're gonna have to have a baby with Eric at some point. And now we know he's an alien. It's like I don't want to. But I'm already committed to this man. What is on the back of his jacket. Oh, it's actually kind of cute. It's like kind of weird, but kind of cute. But anyway, now we're gonna have to have a child with this alien man at some point. That's so annoying. Okay, where's Grover? We need to like figure out where the children are. And now our stove is broken. See, the good thing about it is they cook for us, right? But the bad thing about it is they leave a bunch of mess. And one of the activities is to not leave mess. Um, is she gonna replace it? Like, I don't want the kids to be in danger, right? So maybe we replace it, I'm not sure. Is no one... Like, what is going on here? Have a baby. Our episode is one baby per... Our goal is one baby per episode. So we need that to happen. Is he, like, not for it? The, the club thing is literally... <laughs> Marcus is like, congratulations on your third child. Um, Actually, fourth, I guess, technically. Ugh. Um, Angel's fine, which is great. Where's Grover, though? They're over here, right? If they... They're fine. They're fine enough to start working on their skills. Because as I was saying last episode, I really need them to get their skills up um, just a lot because I'm pretty sure it gives them some benefit in childhood, which would be great. Also, something I haven't thought about is the fact that when they're, in, when they're a child, they have confidence levels and you have to keep their confidence up. This is about to be bad. I cannot be bothered <laughs> having seven children. I can't believe Eric's an alien. This is not good. Okay, she needs to have a pregnancy test now and see. Okay, let's see. Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Thank God. Okay, that's great. I think we can kick Dom. I mean, they're not cleaning in my house anymore when they were meant to. So maybe we'll alter the club activities to stop them from cooking and only be cleaning. That might be like way better, way more helpful as well, honestly. I swear there's a way you can like make them do an activity, but I'm not even sure how. I just want them to clean my house. <laughs> Quite honestly, that's all I want in life right now. Can I ask him to clean? Great, they're all going home. Okay, I guess I'll just end the gathering, honestly. Last time they all just cleaned up. So I don't know why they're not this time. Um, we might have to, oh no. Okay, Angel cannot get taken away. Angel like can't get taken away. Cause then I fail. Then I've just decided that I like fail. So I need to like 
make sure she's okay ASAP. <laughs> really need to clean up, <laughs> like real bad. Oh, it is going to terrible levels again. It was great for like five minutes. We were good. We were slaying. We were slaying the game and now it's just bad again, um, which is not helpful, quite honestly. I think we're gonna have to, if we keep this like, okay, so I'm just like making her clean everything now so that our house is not, why is there just something? Oh, okay, I thought there was just a random package on our account. I was like, that's a bit weird. I'm making her clean everything now so everything's just fine and then we can resume our writing career and looking after the children and everything else. Oh, is that food off? Or is that just him? No, okay, the food's fine. Great, means I don't have to cook yet. Oh my God, this kid, he picks up food and then he puts it back down and it's really frustrating. Oh my God, Grover is almost a child? That's crazy, oh my God. It's actually insane. Almost our child. And then he's gonna be a teenager and it's gonna be so great because then he can help with everything. And then once he moves out, new house. We're gonna have a new house whole episode of just building a bigger and better house, which right now isn't gonna be great because we only have $16,000. So he might need to make some money before he ages up and out. <laughs> oh, it's Angel's birthday. Oh, that means she's an infant. Newborns are so much easier than infants. We're gonna have to age her up. That happened like fast. Yeah, I forgot they just like go on the floor. Okay, randomize. She's sunny. Should we randomize again? Cause Angel was, not Angel, Grover was sunny. Oh my God, and she has red hair as well. That's crazy. I think we'll like randomize again only cause we've had a sunny one. Calm is fine. So I'm like, I want to have all seven before we... She's so cute. Angel is adorable. I'm surprised we need so many redheads. Oh, she's mastered the, par the parenting um, skill, which is like great. We need to read to a child for two hours. It's really annoying. <laughs> it's such a I never used to be able to like do this one because it was just so hard. I think we'll like try. She, she probably can't reach that. We'll probably have to move it. Oh my God. Did you all just see that? Did she just try and sit up? It was so cute. Oh my God. Now I kind of want to leave her on the floor, but I was going to like put her in a crib and get, get Delilah to like, um, okay. I think I, I will put her in a crib. Baby care. Oh wait, I don't want to, I don't want her to read something herself. I want her to read to the child. That is so cute. That little, the thing. Oh my God. Okay, that's so, I had to take a screenshot. That's just too cute. She has no dreams. Sorry, Delilah, your dream is to have a hundred children. That's just the way of the world. Um, I'm hoping these two kids are right because I do realize that I just neglected them for a, a hot minute. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's totally fine. But I think we really need to get her aspiration like, oh, read to children. There we go. I was like, how do I read to them? <laughs> yeah, just read anything. <laughs> read anything and everything to the child. She's so tired though. It's just not going to work out. Okay, I really just need to get her on top of her needs, I think. And that's what I'm going to do with everyone. Try and get their needs up. Okay, so I just tried to like set up everything to get- I tried to set up everything to do their needs and then they just ignore it. Guys, that is so cute. Okay, like I'm- okay, I'm like mad because I set up their whole cues to like finish everything off and then she just ignored it. But that's also adorable. Um, of course we have bills to pay just like always. Great, it's actually fine. It's only 500 bucks and we have 18,000. But I think I just tried to get all their, I was gonna call them skills, what are they called? Like their needs up. I got them up enough for her to write, write some more books. <laughs> um, I could, although I could get the kids potty training. What's better? Do I write books or do I get their pottying up? Hmm. I might actually like potty train both of them once and then, then get it right. I don't know if that's like gonna take away everyone's needs everywhere, but I think I might be like, better use of my time. I don't know. She's getting an all right money from writing. So I'm like, mm, maybe, but also maybe she should just write some more so we can have some more money so we can get a really nice house for all these hundred children. Okay. So now she's gonna, oh, is she helping? Yeah. Okay. Great. I'm hoping I can get both their skill up to two because I've got Franklin's up. Now I'm not sure what's his skill at. Probably not high. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna take a hot sec, but I think if I get his up to two as well, and just don't focus on the book. Oh, is the kid okay? Probably not. It's like mainly fine. Oh, the thing is, hunger is so annoying. It grows down the fastest. Oh, okay, Grover. I swear we, I could have sworn we potty trained Grover before. If she just looks after the kid, could I put her in the back carrier and then potty train Grover enough that he like, he knows how to use the potty. Cause then they're kind of self-sufficient to an extent. <laughs> it's just, um, not really, but like mostly. What does Eva want? Oh, sure. I don't care, but like, sure. 
How long has she got till she has the baby? All right, that's new baby. Is that second trimester? Oh, third trimester is in 18 hours. And then I think we have one day. Oh my God, this has gone so quickly. I swear to God, the other one didn't go that quickly. Yeah, getting their skills up is kind of essential so that we can just like deal with everything. Yeah, I think she's gonna have to clean that as well. And then potty train Grover. Great, so proud of you, man. So proud. Um, but not Grover, yeah. I don't know what I was talking about. Okay, he's almost at level two. So if she just hurries up and then potty trains him like once more, then it'll be great, it'll be grand. And then when Angel ages up, I think potty train is like the first thing we do and then get it all over and done with, it'll be fine because of all three of our toddlers. Although, isn't Grover gonna age up in this episode? He's meant to age up Okay, well, like, let's get his body training up and then age him up. We, sh we should have a cake. Oh my god, wait, okay, this is, like, cutting in the just Should we bake a cake? Oh, I'm like, yes, but she doesn't really have the time. Oh, and now she's... You couldn't have waited, like, five seconds, man. Okay, if I, like, try and get everything else sorted out, surely she can bake a cake so he can blow out the candles. Although we don't have a dining room table. And maybe a cake's gonna have to wait. I feel bad because like our other kid will wait. We'll have to deal with no TV. I feel bad, but like maybe he'll just have to wait till he's a teenager for a cake. I think so. Oh no, I feel bad. Wait, can I even age him up without it? Maybe not. Oh my God, I can't even age him up without a cake. So I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a cake. Uh, I'm like kind of looking forward to childhood because then I don't have to deal with him as much, but also not because then I kind of have to deal with him more. <laughs> Um, because then there's all the homework and everything. So I think we're gonna bake a cake now then. Um, here we go. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Can I do it? Am I gonna have to buy a dining room table? Very simple. <laughs> um, very simple dining room table, but it'll have to do. I think she should be fine for the hunger to wait till it's... No, you don't have to check the toilet. You have to age him up. <laughs> oh god, I haven't done this in so long. I don't know how to do this. Take a bit. No. How do I do this? Y'all. Am I dumb? Why do I not know how to do this? Total care. Not there. Actions? No. Okay. I'm I'm gonna figure it out. Add birthday candles. Yep. I got it. I got it. It's fine. I figured it out. How long till Franklin ages up then? Four days. Okay, so he won't age up till next episode. Okay, nobody take a slice. Now now can I do it? There we go. Okay, wait. Monumental moment. It's gonna be so cute. He's gonna age up, right? Yes! Okay, wait, okay. Well, now I don't know what to do. Should we just like go left to right with the skills? I think so. Right, this is just great. Yeah, okay, I did know. Okay, I was right about the skills aging up with them. That's really helpful. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do his CAS until after this episode. Oh, I forgot he's got like s school to do. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> that's really not helpful, but okay. Well, at least now they can all grab cake, which is great. She like, in third trimester yet. I've kind of forgot she was pregnant, not gonna lie. Um, oh, she's not even in her third trimester yet. Yo, we've had a lot happen this episode. I think like, oh, he's got hearing aids as well, Slay. Um, I think now, oh, I can't even drag that over. This is gonna be so annoying. At least like the food is helpful, but why is he sleeping on that? He's got a bed. We have two beds. But yeah, I think like from now, we're gonna have at least one or two sims age up per episode, which is like good, but also not good. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. I don't like, do I get him to do his homework? I think so. Imagine your name was Grover. Grover's cute when he's a toddler. It would be really annoying when you're like a child and an adult, but sorry, Grover, you have to deal with that now. <laughs> um, everyone's just going to bed. I'm just waiting for it to be in labor honestly <laughs> the fact that there's just paint on the snow is iconic honestly yeah he's done his homework that's great um i'm hoping all the kids like can get good grades usually once they turn into a child it's easier because they can well they can't cook can they oh they can cook great oh my god oh no wait that's delilah yeah i'm a little a little silly i'm just a little si okay i can't but oh dislikes video gaming sure that's fine it's fine fun um i don't want you to use the computer anyway but yeah okay at least he can like have a quick meal um i might just get him to do my dirty work and clean out this spoiled food <laughs> it's good once now we're on the track for like having children having teenagers we're fine we're actually going to be doing so much better oh his hair was so cute when he was a kid wait is angel oh yeah that's fine why is she oh because she got a milestone i was like what is going on here um 
But what was I gonna say? I don't even know. Oh yeah, his hair was so cute when he was a toddler. Okay. Oh, she's going to bed. Okay. After she goes to bed and eats, I guess, <laughs> takes care of her needs in the morning, I think I'm going to get her to write another book because we really need that extra income. Now that we have what? Like five children? Four children? Four children? Three children. We're about to have a fourth. <laughs> now that we're about to have four children, we like really need, um, especially because, yeah, once Grover ages out of the house, which how long does it take for him to age into a teenager? Okay, 13 days. So that's actually, that's 13 days. So that's, oh, he's got confidence. Oh, neutral confidence. Mm, that's like not happy. <laughs> that's not great. So we've got 13 days. So he becomes a teenager and then probably the same amount. So he becomes a young adult and they don't leave until they're after teenagers. So that's great. Like that's actually perfect. So it's going to take like just a little while for us to build up that money, but it's kind of fine. Today's mail has been delivered. Are you kidding? That means there's bills again. Why are there always bills? I literally told her to go to the toilet before. Oh, and the computer broke. That's just perfect. We're going to have to replace that because that's like what we need to make our money. Are you kidding? We haven't even replaced the TV yet. Like she could, but she's kind of against it because one, she's like, kids don't need tv which she's gonna go back on in like five more children but she's like they can live a natural lifestyle but also she doesn't want to waste eight hundred dollars replacing the tv when it's just gonna break again she just wants to wait till it's a bit better is that a child in the snow oh no i feel so bad maybe grover could make friends with her but also i don't want grover to go out in the snow like delilah's like that is too dangerous <laughs> Bjorn is obsessed with me, which is fine, but it's also like annoying. Like Bjorn, go away. How is her energy not gone up? She's almost finished sleeping. Oh no, Franklin is hungry. Okay, that's not good. Wait, can he grab food for himself? Yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, why is she angry? Oh, what are her dreams? How do you see this? I don't even know how you see this kind of stuff. The way Delilah is gonna age up before um, Grover does Oh, wait, that was so cute. Oh, they're wearing the same pajamas as well. I didn't even realize that. That's adorable. Um, the way Delilah is supposedly going to age up before Grover does, she probably won't because Sims that are pregnant cannot age up, which is really helpful, um, especially for this challenge. But like the way she's meant to age up before Grover even does is kind of annoying. At this point, she doesn't even have like an irregular amount of children. Like she only has three and one more on the way. That's not... That's not like abnormal at all. Um, but she is supposedly gonna be giving birth soon. I don't know how long and I kind of don't want to check. I want to like, what a secret, it's not a secret. Wait, where's the kid? Oh, <laughs> not a secret, but a surprise is what I'm going for. I really need that club to come around and like fix things and stuff, but maybe, maybe I might start a club meeting. Get them all to come to my house and then get them all to go away. I can ex Dominic out, I think, but not Eric. Yeah, cause Dominic is Angel's dad. I think he can stay for now. He's like helping clean up and everything and hopefully helping with the kid. Oh, wait, is that Grover? Okay, his outfits are kind of cool. Like I'm probably gonna change some of them. Just like that they clean everything up. That's really the best part of all of this. I get a clean house. Hopefully they try and repair the TV because Delilah is not about to spend more money on this TV. Um, I'm hoping she goes into labor soon though because she's been pregnant for way too long. Way, way, way too long. When I say way too long, it's been like 20 minutes in real life. <laughs> but that's, that is too long, honestly, for anyone to be pregnant. I don't get why she keeps moving the children from crib to crib. It was really cute though when Grover and Franklin were both like infants at the same time. So I kind of want that for Angel and her, her new sibling. But also I don't know how long till Angel ages up. I love that she's a self-soother. Honestly, great. That's great because you're going to need that your whole life. I love looking at all these like things. Oh, it's going to be so fun to play with them when it's just like one infant and like two parents <laughs> to deal with the infant, you know? Wait, why would I be adding birthday candles? Who's aging up? Is Franklin aging up? Probably not, right? I don't know why I'm adding birthday candles. It doesn't even matter because they're taking cake. But see, they just make everything so much better. They do fill my house with a bunch of these things, but it's kind of better than having a bunch of actual like garbage around my house. Cause like, look how clean and nice. Oh, see, look how clean and nice my house is. It's actually perfect now. I wish they would take care of the kids. I know you're like not meant to hire, hire a nanny and that's like why. Yo, it's Winterfest again. Hazel was born on Winterfest. That's when Hazel got taken away. So like, it's been a year technically in sim time, which is like crazy. I mean, it hasn't cause all the kids have aged up more than one year, but you know what I mean? That's kind of crazy. It doesn't work on a year to year basis like Winterfest. Um, I do not participate in the holidays though in this game because it takes too long. Especially, well, not in the 100 baby challenge at least. Maybe in normal times I would, but yeah. 
She's gotta be like giving birth soon, right? <laughs> I don't even know. I feel like Sims, imagine just being pregnant all the time though. Like if this happened in real life, I mean, this couldn't, I don't think this could happen in real life. I mean, but like <laughs> just imagine being pregnant constantly. That would suck. It would suck being pregnant at all, but it would suck. She's gone into labor. Oh my God. Okay. You'll, oh, okay. We're really not getting many royalties anymore. No, I don't Ian. I'm currently in labor. Um, okay, I think we go with the- I'm kind of hoping for twins. Is it bad that I'm hoping for twins? Because, like, I get the whole point. No, it's not bad because then it would make us have more children, which is actually bad for us, but not for y'all. So, it's fine. Bad for Delilah, I can tell you that. She's trying to- is she going to have the kid? <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm going to wait a bit. Oh, I love that she's pregnant, giving birth with all these random people in our house. Oh, actually, I forgot I locked this door for everyone but Delilah. I was wondering why nobody's coming in. It's because the door's locked. That's actually really helpful. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. Yay. Yay. Good times all around. I wonder, I was going to say, I wonder if it's going to be a girl or a boy. It's another girl. Okay, this is great. I'm going to, oh, Sydney's fine. I was like going to close my friends. Yay. Okay, so excited. So glad. So glad. I'm glad it's a boy and a girl as well, even though it unevens it, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, Marco's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's so exciting. Yes, guys. Oh my god, twins. That's the most exciting thing to happen so far in this game, apart from our first baby getting taken away and us almost having a child with an alien and a bunch of other stuff. Oh my god, that's so exciting though. Oh, okay, wait. I'm kind of thinking, right? So we now have, we have one, two, three, four, five. I really predicted that five children thing, but what if we try and have a baby at the end of this episode? Like we end it, we end it when we have a baby. I think, I know the whole thing was like have... A baby per episode but now we could have well we had two this episode <laughs> so we've already gone past that we would get pregnant again and have another child but like we could have two children next episode is what i'm trying to say in my weird long way unless she gets pregnant with twins again which would be crazy but also what happens if you have a full household can you not get pregnant i feel like you can't get pregnant right let's just kind of check out what the kids are doing oh grover's just chilling in there um does grover have more homework has he been to school yet i don't even know what's happening no he hasn't i don't know how long it takes him because he clearly hasn't been to school yet right or is he like on vacation i'm not even sure oh okay the the, the twins are hungry we should probably feed the twins that would be a smart thing to do. If we feed them and then try and have a baby, I think that's like the best thing to do. So what if we, okay. Okay, so I'm feeding the babies, waiting for Eric to wake up. I, I'm aware he's an alien and this is against everything I want to do. Also like, we're gonna spice it up a bit. We gotta get the good times rolling. Um, oh, she needs to sleep, really? Okay, I love all these random guys just kinda sleeping in the children's bedroom was oh poor grover doesn't even get to sleep in his own bedroom like come on wait okay if we get pregnant with eric does that mean he it has to be an alien or is it like not not necessarily an alien is it like a 50 50 chance it's an alien i'm gonna have to do some research on alien children oh my god they fixed my tv that is great see i did not have to spend 800 dollars on a new tv delilah is very happy with those savings Oh, okay, sure. Grover, Grover's a fitness god. Grover's a fitness queen. Okay, Grover, go away. <laughs> go away, Grover. Don't be annoying. Meet a new sibling who, oh, right. <laughs> it's like he has new siblings. Oh, Franklin is very hungry. Wait, why is Father Winter just like here? That's uniconic. That's like really annoying. Sorry, Father Winter, that's annoying. Yo, I'm really just trying for this baby with Eric and it's just not happening. <laughs> like everyone in the house is just too annoying. I don't know why Father Winter is just like casually here though. <laughs> really, really random of you, man. Really random. I don't know where he went though. Oh, maybe he left. I'm loving this. It's real modern day core, if you will. Guys, I think Eric left, which is not helpful to me at all. <laughs> I don't even know what we do now. Do we try for a baby with someone else? I think we're gonna have to, so it can't be Dominic. And everyone else is asleep. We could start a new meeting and make them all come back. But maybe I'll just wait for someone else to wake up. But I just need someone to wake up. Everyone is sleeping, but I'm hoping... I'm hoping this results in a pregnancy because if it doesn't, I'm going to cry my eyes out. I've been trying to get pregnant for like 20 minutes. Oh, Grover has a loose tooth! I think I created this save before the, 
the thing got fixed. Um, that might be an issue. <laughs> if that, if the issue happens, I like don't know what I'm going to do. If I make a copy of this save, will it still, is she pregnant? Please be pregnant. How? How? What do I do? What do I have to do? Do I have to praise the pregnancy gods? Because I will do it. I just realized when they age up, if Angel isn't aged up, there's going to not be enough cribs. So one of the babies is going to have to be on the floor. Are you kidding me? If she's not pregnant again, are you kidding me? This episode is gonna be five years long because she can't get pregnant. I so, I'm trying with everyone at this point. Oh my God, Franklin is almost aging up. Are you kidding me? I was like, oh, Franklin's not gonna age up in this episode. Clearly he is because what? I'm gonna have to like, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to end the gathering to get everyone to leave and then get them all to come back. How is Franklin almost aged up though? Is he actually? He was literally just aged up last episode. He has one day. Okay, if we can't get pregnant in one day, we're gonna have two children in this episode. Okay, Bjorn is calling. Um, no, don't do that because right now, Sydney's birthday. Oh my God, okay, the twins are aging up because it's been a day. You are kidding me. Okay, this is, this is not going well for me all. I thought I was, I thought I was slaying the game because I was like, oh my God, I'm so ahead. Okay, first, first we're trying with Eric. If it doesn't work, we'll try with someone else. We're just gonna go through all of them. I always ask him to be my boyfriend when I was like doing it. I always asked him to be Delilah's boyfriend because I was just like not looking and I was like, oh my God, no, that is against this challenge. <laughs> that is against the rules. Is Angel is about to age up though? I think she might. God, I can't deal with another toddler. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna like potty train her the minute she ages up. So it's just like done. Clearly not, clearly not. <laughs> okay, what I don't get is what is elementary? What What age is that up to? Cause like Grove is a child, right? Do they go into middle school at some point? I don't even know. Because what? Yeah, I don't. Yo, this is my Australian self-talking. I don't know. I don't know like what what age elementary is. I thought elementary was like young, young. Okay, come on. Okay, she's gonna take a pregnancy test and it's gonna be positive. I knew it. Okay, this is Eric's child. This is the alien's child. Why is everyone not in clothes? This is the alien's child, and I am so excited. I'm gonna learn all about it, but that that comes th that concludes our episode. Finally, we are done with this episode. So I hope you enjoyed the first half of this episode, which was great having children, great. Second half, which was just trying to get another child. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a lovely day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.